Hello and thank you for watching a demonstration of the MIP connector with Salesforce.com. The MIP connector was developed by GEM API with assistance from the New York State Cloud Computing and Analytics Center at Marist College in the Hudson Valley, New York. Although this demonstration will show you how the MIP connector moves payments received in Salesforce.com to an MIP fund accounting package, the MIP connector is a universal tool and able to connect other best-of-breed platforms to the MIP fund accounting platform. In fact, it's universal in that it will connect to any hosted environment, whether it's Abila Online MIP Advanced, a cloud environment like AWS, Azure, or a private cloud, or your own internal network in your own facilities. If during or after this demonstration you have any questions or you would like some pricing or configuration setups, please feel free to email us at info at gemapi.com. That's info at gemapi.com. So to get started, I just want to open up uh, an NTO training database for MIP. This database is hosted on um, an AWS instance. <coughs> And notice there are no unposted sessions in this particular instance, particular database. So having shown you that, I would like to go and process a payment in Salesforce. And we go into our Opportunities tab and we process a payment within an opportunity in the new payment screen. For $1,100. And make sure we put the check reference in there. That is your document number in MIP. And we save this. And what MIP is doing, I'm sorry, what the MIP connector is doing is it's setting up a new session within MIP and processing this document as a deposit. So let's take a look at that. So this is the same training database that we looked at a moment ago. And we open up a new session. Notice there's a new session out there. That's the session that was just set up by the MIP connector with one document in it. And then we can take a look at the document. So here is your revenue deposit and your cash account. What the MIP connector is doing is it's taking information from the account type in Salesforce to determine your revenue code. And it's taking information related to your campaign that we've set up for a distribution code within MIP to set up your other segments coding. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and process uh, a second payment through Salesforce. And the purpose of this is to show you that what MIP Connector is doing is every time there's a deposit, it's checking to see if there's an unposted session out there. If there is an unposted session, then the MIP Connector will simply append that session with a new document for the second deposit or third deposit. So I'm going to go ahead and process this payment. Obviously a different check number and a different amount. This one's for 500 instead of 1100. So when I click save, again 15 or so seconds later, I'm going to go ahead and go to the server, the MIP instance, and I'm going to look at this session. And it's now going to have two documents. And when I open them up, you'll see both of those payments the original one right here for $1,100 and the second one for $500. Obviously this cuts down the time of entry into the system and in fact when that save button is hit on Salesforce, uh, Salesforce is then sending an email to uh, your accounting technician and telling them that there's a new payment that's been received and is unposted in MIP. Again, the MIP connector is a universal tool. If you have any questions related to other tools, that other best of breed tools that it may uh, attach to, please feel free to email us. Any questions related to pricing or configuration, again, info at gemapi.com. Thank you for watching.